The Japanese whaling fleet has temporarily suspended its hunt in the Southern Ocean. It comes after a collision between its main ship, the Nishin Maru, and the Sea Shepherd. No one was injured, but it's triggered yet another slanging match between the two groups. Here's environment reporter Sarah Clark. It was the Japanese Coast Guard on board the Nishin Maru that issued the warning. I warn you, stop your obstructive actions immediately. But Sea Shepherd says it was the one that got hit. They moved in and struck the Steve Irwin twice, and then they actually hit their own tanker four times, uh, crushing their lifeboat and causing quite a bit of damage. Who hit who is now under investigation. The Sea Shepherd says the video footage clears then. It is a reckless situation. I, it's almost like the captain of the Nishin Maru is uh, doing a road rage out here. But the Japanese Fisheries Agency insists the protesters rammed them while they were refueling. There's claims and counterclaims and the maritime safety authorities going through the investigation. What is confirmed is the whaling fleet has temporarily suspended its hunt. The factory ship, the Nishin Maru, is reportedly heading north to refuel. That's a reprieve for the Sea Shepherd, but the federal government isn't jumping for joy just yet. As long as it's the Japanese government's intention to come back again, I don't think there's very much to celebrate. Instead, the Commonwealth is pinning its hopes on the International Court of Justice. That hearing will begin this year. Our argument is that whaling in the Great Southern Ocean is unlawful, uh, but we will now wait until the International Court of Justice rules on the, that matter. But that ruling could be years away. The protesters are not letting up. We'll stay down here for as long as they're down here. With little time left in this season's hunt, it's the Sea Shepherd's action proving the most effective. The number of whales harpooned in the Southern Ocean is falling every year. Sarah Clark, ABC News. So whaling in the Southern Ocean is over for now. Could the latest development signal a complete end to whaling by Japan? Matthew Collis is the manager of Marine Operations for the International Fund for Animal Welfare. I think it's hard to tell. I mean, obviously what we've heard with reports is that the, there's been a suspension for the whaling season this year. But um, one thing I think that's clear, and certainly from the work that the International Fund for Animal Welfare has done in Japan itself, is that whaling is an economic loser for Japan, and it's a dying industry. It's catering to an increasingly shrinking and ageing market, and there's really no demand for whale meat anymore. So I think its future is, uh, is uncertain, and, and I think we're seeing the last days of whaling. So it could be economic pressure rather than pressure from groups like yourself and the Sea Shepherd that could uh, mean whaling will end. Well, I think there's multiple factors, and obviously external pressure from the outside is an important part of that. But ultimately, the decision to, to end whaling will be taken in Japan, and it has to be for reasons that make sense to Japanese people. And while the International Fund for Animal Welfare is against whaling on animal welfare and conservation grounds, it may be that the economic arguments about whaling will make more of an impact in Japan itself. I mean, this is an industry that's being subsidized to the tune of $10 million every year by Japanese taxpayers, and I'm sure that's not something they're going to be pleased about. About. The Japanese are still eating whale meat, aren't they? Well, that's not what we're finding. A survey we did in Japan just uh, at the end of last year showed that 89% of people hadn't, eat, hadn't bought whale meat in the last year. And uh, they we're seeing a real difference between a kind of uh, an older demographic that's eating whale meat and a younger demographic that doesn't want to. And I think over time that's really going to tell. And that's why there's such an economic pressure on the whaling industry in Japan now. What's the state of play with the court case that uh, Australia has brought against Japan in the International Court of Justice? Where are we with that? Uh, our understanding is that the earliest that case can be heard is in the second half of this year. And uh, we hope it will be heard then. And we hope there's a, a quick decision ahead of next year's whaling season. Do you know how many whales were taken uh, during whaling season this year and how that compares to previous years? Uh, it, it's until the government of Japan issues its final figures, it's impossible to know. I've seen numbers quoted as low as 10. Um, in the last few years, they've only taken a few hundred, despite their quota being near, uh, nearly a thousand whales. So certainly in the last few years, they've been taking a lot less, catching and killing a lot less whales than their quotas. But even so, we're still seeing stockpiles of whale meat uh, rack up in Japan. So really, that just demonstrates how much of an economic loser whaling is. Matthew Collis, thank you. Thank you.